What's up, legends? I got a quick little discussion for you guys, but Kishimoto has had his first interview of the year 2017 from Shonen Jump Magazine, and there was a couple questions that caught my eye because I was in school and I was bored as shit. Let's, so let's dive on in. But first question that caught my eye was Shonen Jump asking, can you talk about the differences between Naruto and Boruto as characters? And Kishimoto replies, Naruto moves without thinking. He's kind of unrefined. True, he dumb as fuck. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Naruto's my favorite character. He's like a classic rascal. As for Boruto, well, I wouldn't say he's lazy, he's more refined than that. It's more that he knows all the shortcuts, he's crafty, he's more mature in knowing how the world works. And Boruto is the more sarcastic of the two. Naruto is more straightforward, he yells what he's feeling, that's a big difference. So, he's, like, I wanted some differentiality between Naruto and Boruto. I wanted to know exactly what makes them different from each other because we have seen a lot of things that they're similar to each other. They look alike, they use Shadow Clone Jutsu, they use Rasengan. Maybe Boruto's Rasengan is different from Naruto's, but they use Rasengan. Boruto's more cocky than Naruto, but Naruto had his cocky little moments as well, but he was he was a more uh como se dice? I'm not Spanish. I just I like saying como se dice. Uh he was he I don't know, like he's just more he was less cocky, but he was cocky. I can't, I can't quite describe Naruto's cockiness. Bukaki. Naruto Uzumaki Bukaki. Anyway, there's more questions. Shonen Jump asks, Sometimes when a manga series introduces the children of the main characters, they end up being clones of the original. Was that something that concerned you? Kishimoto replies, Yes, it was. Part of that is if the characters aren't sim- Part of that is that if the characters aren't similar, if they are a little clone like it can be hard to express who they are and i have some and i have some who are pretty much clones shikadai is a lot like his dad and some of the new characters are a combination of their parents like chocho with manga sometimes you're going to get the archetypal archetypal typal why can't i pronounce that word <clears throat> help me characters like that archetype character archetypal characters like that hello goodbye <laughs> i'm sorry oh man uh, he asked a few more, a few more new questions. Like, what excites you? Well, Shonen Jump, at, Shonen Jump asks Kishimoto a few more questions. Like, what excites you about creating a new series like Boruto? He's like, there's a lot of characters that, that haven't been shown up, that haven't even shown up yet in Boruto, and so he's excited about the drama involving them. Hmm. So new characters who haven't shown up yet. Uh, Kawaki has, he's shown up, but he hasn't been shown much bars, I know, hello. Um, also, there's a pink haired girl on the cover of the new Boruto manga, in case you haven't noticed, there's a pink haired girl, and yeah, that's about it, and uh, Lee's wife hasn't been shown yet, I know he didn't bang Sakura, but yeah, and there's a few, there's, there's one more that really intri intrigues me. And a lot of people, there, there's, a, there's been a lot of arguments, but here's Kishimoto just straight out saying it. Facts. Facts, B. Here's Kishimoto just straight out saying it. Was Naruto and Hinata getting married, uh, Shonen Jump, was Naruto and Hinata getting married decided early on, or did you consider Naruto ending up with Sakura? Kishimoto replies, when I introduced Sakura, I only consider her as another character. I didn't do it to bring her in as, as a special female character. She was the same level as characters like Kibo or Shikamaru. Don't disrespect Shikamaru like that. Hello! Kibo can do fuck off though. I'm just playing. So there was nothing set in my mind at all about Sakura and Naruto being a couple. Obviously they'd be friends and teammates for Hinata. I decided pretty early on that they'd be together. Then I figured it'd be more interesting if Sakura be, would be in the middle creating a messy love triangle, but to be honest, there wasn't much space and time to include stuff like that. Naruto's a battle manga, not a romance story. You have to decide what to focus on, what you think the readers want to see. So I never thought about making them a couple, but I did throw in some nuggets to make the readers think that. It was all about Naruto and Hinata getting married from an early stage, so that's basically confirming it right there. Naruto and Hinata were meant to make a young burrito and a young sunflower. Um. I'm a fan of Naruto and Hinata being together. I know some people don't aren't fans of it, but I'm a fan of them. I'm not. You guys can like whatever you want. You can once you can do your fan fictions. You can do your arts of Naruto and Sakura having having lots of passionate sex. But I mean, 
As long as you just don't spread misinformation and just say, nope, nope, Kishimoto's a lying slut. Which, who knows? Kishimoto, I don't know, man. Kishimoto, he's saying it right here, so I'm going to take what he's saying as fact. And that's what I already thought from the beginning, that Naruto and Hinata were meant, like, they were created for each other to be a pairing at the end of the series to begin with. But, like he said, people, I want you to remember, it. it's a battle manga. It was not about the pairings from day one. It is a battle manga. That's what we're here for. You can't dislike Naruto because you didn't like a certain pairing. You can't. You can't put. A, you can't put your love in Naruto on a certain pairing. And I, a lot of people always say the ending was bad because there were pairings to begin with, which I disagree with because, like, here's my personal opinion: if Naruto didn't get with Hinata in the end, or get with anyone in the end, then there would have been a big character. Um, arc of Naruto that would have gone unresolved and that was his loneliness whenever he went home he was lonely yes he made he made friends in the village he knew a lot of people in the village the village respected him but at the end of the day just like in that filler episode I know it's not canon but just like in that filler episode we can assume Naruto would go home every day lonely wishing he had someone there Ruka wasn't bunking it with him Sasuke wasn't kicking it with him in the crib um, Sakura damn sure wasn't there Hinata wasn't there he was lonely when he went home, so him not marrying anyone wouldn't have been good for that character, like, plot point of his loneliness. It wouldn't have resolved his loneliness. He would have been Hokage, sure, but what, what would he have gone home to? He would have been in the office all day, every day, um, wishing he didn't have to go home because at least here people come to visit him once in a while. So that's why I say the pairings are good. Deep shit, right? Deep shit. Uh, also, if it wasn't Hinata, then her character arc of loving Naruto would have had to resolve in a different way from her, like, falling out of love with him or whatever, and that would just been a whole convoluted thing. Like he said, it's a battle manga. It's not focused on love, so since she loved Naruto from day one, why not have them come, come together? And Sasuke and Sakura, I mean, the way he did Sasuke and Sakura and them ending up together is really weird. Yeah, but I'm glad they did end up together, but it's really weird as, after all the shit Sasuke put her through, sure. But I'm glad they ended up doing, making a little salad, because salad is awesome. And Sasuke also needed that, the character point of um, love. He needed to bring love back into his heart. But it was just weird after all the shit Sasuke did to him. Like, we need to see how Sasuke and Sakura got together, honestly. But anyway, this has been DZ Legend with another legendary commentary. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, legends.